right, everyone, we're starting part two to our uh, trip here. We're still in Illinois. Uh, we're just heading 70 west. And uh, whenever something comes up exciting, we'll try to let you guys in on it. It's not much exciting out here. It's all fields. <laughs> not much to look at. You know, a lot of people think just because it's all fields, there's nothing to look at. But <laughs> I personally have never seen a field as big as these. I mean, as far as you can see, there's fields. So... It's something, but it's well, all new to us. Well, we haven't us. really found anything too exciting yet to look at, so. No. I do think, honestly, traveling on the interstate ain't quite as nice if you was traveling maybe a back road or something like that. But we're just basically trying to beat feet to the Grand Canyon. That's our destination. That's where we want to get to. So, anything comes up, we'll let you guys in on it. Quarters of a mile. Keep left to I 55 South. There's the St. Louis Arch. Still not seeing much uh, of anything. Just open road, pretty much. But we are covering some ground. We're making headway here. We're uh, a little bit ahead of schedule, so we're going to get there not too long. Okay, guys, uh, we made it. Um, past Oklahoma City we're in a place called Geary it's G-E-R or G-E-A-R-Y um, this is our second night um, things weren't that great yesterday I mean we didn't see a whole lot of anything um, so we're gonna go ahead and combine this with another day and we're gonna try to make it at least we, we actually drove yesterday 700, almost 700 miles, so we're actually ahead of schedule by at least 200 miles, which is not too bad. So, uh, we're going to see how far we can get today, and if we get anything on camera, we'll share it with you guys. Uh, the campground's been a pretty good, this is a little KOA camp, I think we paid about $36 tonight for this camp. Uh, of course, we don't use all the amenities and everything. All I need is electricity. We use our bathrooms and their showers. So, uh, but anyhow, we did get a place to stay, and uh, we got a shower, and we're good to get on the road again. So, hang in there with me, and let's see what we come up with.
Metro. Oh, yeah. Sure. Boy, mom, sister, Francie, that died. She would have laid down the day she was. Yeah, there's some Hard Rock Hotel. Hard Rock Casino Resort. straight ahead that's a hotel that the tornado hit yeah it says El Reno Oklahoma oh uh, and I just got the dash cam on and it <clears> looks <throat> like it knocked about almost every window out of that place and then uh, we're gonna pull up to the stop sign we're just we just pulled in here to get gas and uh, wow. we seen all the devastation all the stuff you can see straight ahead you can see right out in front of us there. That's looks like another gas. I don't know if it's a gas station store. I don't know what that was. Yeah. I don't even wow, know. Wow, look at this big palace. Where the heck am I going here? What do we do? Do I go straight across the road? Uh, oh, that says wrong way. That says do not enter. I don't know. I have oh, no oh, idea. Right. Okay, we'll figure this out here. Oh, okay. Over there. We gotta go over there. Oh, okay. I see now. Okay. <clears throat> don't mind me, guys. I get paranoid when I get in all this traffic and stuff. I just don't like it. Not crazy about well, it. Well, some of these roads are really confusing. Everything's confusing here. Mm. Yeah, I don't know what that was over there. Anything coming your way? Uh, no, I think it's good this way. This truck would hurry up. Oh, now there's one coming right there. Business route south, then take the first left. Oh, yeah, look, some of them trucks look like some of the windows. Oh, wow. Those, that is, that's a Ford garage. Turn right on I 40 West.
Mexico. It's a lot more um, like rough terrain, like rocks and hills and stuff like that. Not like Mexico, or not like Texas. Yeah, Texas was all flat and just wide open fields with not much to look at. This is a little more interesting. but a little bit. <laughs> How you doing guys? Uh, we're still in, uh, we're in New Mexico right now. Uh, we're at a campground here. It's not a, it's not a real good, great campground, but it's working to get you guys out of that sun. Um, it's called Dancing Eagle RV Park. Uh, this is like a quick stop park. Uh, just to uh, basically give you a place to sleep when you're going down the road because they, the showers and the commodes of course they don't have showers here and the commodes are in this door and they're closed they open I don't know I guess it says 7 a.m. but there's still nobody in there but anyhow this is the RV park this is the one we stopped at uh, pretty cheap rates pretty cheap not very much to get in here but anyhow the view wasn't too bad got some nice rocks up there kind of mountains rocky mountains whatever you want to call them uh, but anyhow it was a place to stop and uh, we got the uh, camper there not a real I mean there's no trees or nothing just lots for you to back into and it works it gave us a place to stay all night. Uh, the only thing is, is if you got to use the bathroom and it's after hours, you're either going to go down to that casino down there, or you're going to go across the road to the gas station over there. There's a little gas station over there. So if you stop here, make sure it's uh, you know, you don't need that shower close to the, or you don't need the bathrooms because you're not going to get them. So yesterday we. Uh, yesterday we took we got a lot of miles in so we only need um, I, th I think we're about 350 miles from our destination so uh, to the Grand Canyon so we're 350 miles away hopefully it's going to be a short day today and we can get into campground there and get comfortable and start to relax because this traveling like we're doing just ain't working I don't like it I like to be able to stop for a night and just explore around the area and then go but I do want to make sure I get down there in time to meet Daryl so we're gonna get this rig a moving before I sum this video up I wanted to let you guys know when we're doing these fast uh, cookups and uh, we're going um, they're just traveling what we do is is I don't even put the jack stands under the camper I just put the tongue down the hitch up there this crank I just crank this thing down till it's half decent level and then I will just hook my cord up I mean it's not like we are going to do much in there besides jump in there and go to sleep and then uh, you can see over here I kind of put a couple chocks down there leveled it out I want to stop somewhere and pick up some of them leveling blocks I think that would be good for these fast travels like this and then we just put the step out we jump in there and we go to sleep I mean basically it's like sleeping in your car I mean you're not gonna level out your car anyhow but it does it it works for us and it's just quick and easy and then when we're ready to go in the morning we just jack that down unhook of course I put my antenna up Julie likes her TV but I got it down now so usually I just do a couple little things get it set up and go to sleep and then get up in the morning and get your shower and get going now you can see I got about 1700 miles of bugs on the front of that camper Wow man I just washed the truck too 
The front of the truck's nasty too. You know, bugs, man, we've hit so many bugs, it's unreal. Look at that front end. That was all clean. It tore it up. But anyhow, we have been meeting a lot of people. Uh, talking to a lot of people and a lot of people that we talked to already watched my videos they they've already seen them you know a lot of times I'll say hey you watch YouTube I'll put them on there and see if they watched any of my videos and a lot of them have already watched them or already even subscribed to them so anyhow I hope you guys enjoy this part of the video uh, look part look for part three on our travel we'll be at the Grand Canyon in the next one for sure so I'd like to tell everybody thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, leave me a thumbs up, thumbs down, or a comment if you'd like. Till next time.